to this video I'm going to do a full tutorial of Sellerboard and a full demo of this pretty epic um, Amazon analytical and inventory management software so without further ado let's dive in so here's the demo account so these aren't my results this is a demo account um, and the first thing I want to note here is this dashboard that you are seeing. So we've got dashboard, PPC, inventory, products, expenses, LTV, cash flow reports. Now I'm going to go through a, a fair amount of this today. Not every single thing because it's too advanced for me to go through everything. But I'm just going to do a quick overview of all of this amazing software. So the first thing you'll notice here is the tiles here. So these tiles, we can see what our profit is advertising cost, estimated payout, net profit, gross profit for today, yesterday, so we can compare them this month, this month's forecast, last month, and not only that, we can actually see a breakdown if we click here, which is fascinating. So you've got the advertising cost, which we can actually drop down here, so we can see Google, if you've got any Googled ads, sponsor products ads, sponsor brands, etc. Then we can click that off. Any gift wraps, shipping here, so we also drop down the shipping cost here, and this will also pop up with shipping and will come off your profits if there are any inbound shipping, for example, which a lot of the time a lot of sellers miss, and then they think they're making a lot more net profit than they actually are. We've got all the Amazon fees here, fulfillment fees, referral fees, FBA storage fees, literally covers everything, okay? Refunds, and then we've got the total ROI and margin at the bottom here. So this you can also do this on everything. We can do it for the month, etc., and you can also do this on an individual product basis, which I'll show you later. We can also compare it to last month, and then the forecast will also give you a fairly accurate forecast, unless you're in Q4, then it's going to be really hard for them to judge that thing. But what it's doing is it's going to judge your profit for next month on the month prior to that. Um, and it's it's pretty accurate, as I say, unless you're in Q4, which obviously no no data is ever going to keep up with because it's you know it's it's so skewed. You can also look at charts over here. So if you want to look at charts, if you're more of a chart sort of person, you can judge it on the charts here. And then what we can start to do is see if our business is more of a seasonal business. You can see what sort of advertising costs you're doing on that sort of basis. Um, we've got a profit and loss sheet here, which is quite fascinating as well. Um, so you can literally judge exactly what's going on here. You know, in terms of like monthly refunds, we've got monthly uh, sales volumes, and then we can judge our profit based on the sales volume and figure out exactly what going on here we can also click on the trends up here um, all of this stuff depending on how you like to visually see your business we can look at the trends here and start going into these different charts to figure out you know just just to get a real good overview of our sales and all of these types of products that we're selling from different times of the year as you can see so then next year we can go into it with these products predicted quite nicely uh, not only can you do that, but you can pick the sort of um, uh, custom range that you want to do on these. You can pick what sort of marketplace you're in if you sell on multiple marketplaces. Notice up here, it's also got the notifications tab here. So if someone's changed an, a main image, for example, they will also send you this via email um, so that anything that pops up, or you can do it on the seller board app. So anything that pops up, it will tell you straight away each time you log in. FBA fee has changed, therefore you can figure out if that is still profitable, whether you need to bring it up in price. Um, has the image changed? Buy box lost? It's going to tell you all of this vital information when you log in on a daily basis. We can also click on ordered items here to get more of a detailed view on exactly what's been ordered. You can see the refunds that you've had. We can see the sales that we've had. Um, and then we've got the Amazon fees it's charged us here, gross profit, any comments here. Uh, we can click more there just to get, as I say, more in detail of the exact fees we were charged, the refund costs we were charged, um, and then obviously the margin in total for each individual product there as well oh let's go back into the demo account now I've just clicked out there um, if you do want to give this a go by the way guys there's a, literally a two month free trial that I've been given by Sellerboard which is very very kind of them and we're back into the account there any tutorials you want to see, obviously make sure you check out the dashboard overview as well, um, videos, etc. from Sellable themselves. They're very good. But let's move on to the next section here. So we've got the PPC here. So you can actually track your PPC. And as PPC is one of the main costs related to your Amazon business, 
it's very good that you've got the dashboard to track them all here so we can also track we can track them by month here we can check them by campaign here ad spend you know you need to be able to figure out total ppc sales orders is it even working you know what's you know what's the cost of goods on that you know the average cpc the a cost 25 percent, which is pretty good i think moving on to the inventory section here as i say i'm doing a quick overview today guys and girls because obviously there's a lot to go through so we've got the total cost of goods here, and we, one of my favourite things on Sellerboard is the total cost of goods, and then we've got the potential sales here. So we've got the potential sales of 124,000. I think I checked mine on my account the other day, it was about 55,000 in one of my Amazon accounts. And then we've got the potential profit, so it's always nice to see sort of, you know, the potential sales. How much stock do you currently hold in your business? Gives you a really good idea of what your business is worth as well because um, sometimes it can get to a stage where you've invested so much money into your business um, but you don't seem to be getting much <laughs> um, you know, in return because you're stocking up or your, your bank account is low so it's nice to see the potential sales there, I really like it um, I also like to see the products page here. There's a lot more detail in all of these tabs I'm going on to, by the way, guys and girls, but I'm just showing you, um, as I say, a brief overview today. Now you've got the cost of goods, so every item you've got here you're going to have to type in the cost of goods obviously because Sellerboard's not going to know that. You can also copy the, the ACE in there or click on that and then it will take us straight to the Amazon product page, which we're not going to do, but it's quite easy to do. Um, type in your cost of goods there and then what it's going to do is also give you the profit estimate here and then your VAT rate which you will need to type in there as well. Um, and then it's also got your profit estimate there. So you know, sometimes I go on here and check this on a few on a, on a, on a, on a weekly or monthly basis, just to double check that new products that I've launched are actually making us money. Because sometimes it's easy to, you know, make some mistakes there. You can also type in by ace in there if you need to check any new products you add. If you're doing private label, for example, you know you need to add them on here. You need to add every product you sell on here, even if you're doing online arbitrage, etc. By the way, my VAs usually add that or add all of this stuff for our online arbitrage side of things in the USA. You've also got the expenses here. So obviously Sellerboard is not going to know about your expenses. So you add your expenses onto this dashboard here and then that's going to take that off your that's going to take it off your dashboard you know the tiles that i showed you in the dashboard it's going to reflect all of these expenses onto that on a monthly basis so bear in mind if you add them on the ninth then when you when you're on the ninth of each month it is going to deduct that five pounds for example off that monthly fee for that daily the, the, the money that you've earned on a daily basis just to just to make you aware of that so you can add all expenses that you do and you can add if it's one time or if it's monthly etc so that you can really keep track of things I'm not going to go into LTV today. Um, cash flow is quite cool. You can go into that if you want. I'm not going to go into today because we haven't got time. I'm going to show you quickly. So we've got the money back here. So it's got a money back feature. So lost and damaged, which is really cool. Um, you can click on the lost and damaged video on how to do this here. Estimated reimbursement amount. It's actually showing you how much you're owed from Amazon. Um, and then obviously what you can do is here, download the report, contact seller support, show them that template and send them uh that template in order to get you a refund for the lost and damaged items which is fantastic so that could more than pay for itself this software okay it's just come up with a, a download the software fee and so yeah as i say if you want to try this software go ahead get a two month free trial i mean guys two months if you don't like it cancel after that it's a it's a fantastic offer um, and then we've got returns here as well, FBA fee changes, any alerts, eBay, Shopify. So this actually integrates into eBay as well, Shopify, etc. So look, guys and girls, I'm not going to go into it anymore because I think that's enough detail for you to show you how awesome this software is. It's a cheap software anyway. I think on a monthly basis we're paying like, I don't know, Fifteen pounds a month, something like that. Eighteen pounds a month um, after the two-month free trial. So go ahead and get that. It's just you know, as I say, for me, it's a bit of a no-brainer. I think it's an awesome bit of kit. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Keep well.